Despite what everyone thinks, Pokemon Go is not free! <laughs> hey out there guys, Professor Bulba here. Maybe you noticed my new studio setup, which has some awesome art to it. Yeah, it does. It has Gen 7 starters and a uh, Pikachu. It has a Pikachu too, because Pikachu's a long time favorite. Pika Pika! The artists of this art are known as Rari and Pulley. Definitely check out their Facebook page and their Etsy website in which you can purchase these fine, fine Pokemon canvases and other prints as well. I want to hear about the app. Yeah, so just so you guys know, although Pokemon Go is a free game, it's actually more of a freemium game, which basically means is you do get to play for free and you can play and do anything the other characters and people who play can do, but if you pay money, you have a, a huge advantage where you can move through the game faster uh, and more adequately than the other players by gaining advantages that they may not get, or you may get them to a higher capacity than they do. The whole point of a freemium game is to get you hooked on it. So you're gonna get so far in the game and you're gonna kinda want more, but it's not gonna give you more. And the only way you're gonna get more is by paying money. How that works is you're gonna start paying like a little bit of money here. Like I'm gonna spend a dollar or two dollars or five dollars because really in like the long run of things, that's not much. But if you do it day after day, week after week, it is adding up fast. And that is what freemium games do. So what I'm saying is be weary of Pokemon Go. Although it is free, just look at the cost of it in the long run and actually keep track of how much money you spend because I'd be kind of curious to know if anyone actually goes out and just like spends a whole wad of cash. Because in the long run, if you look at how it's laid out, yes, paying the $99 would be the most beneficial way to do it because you get extra gold or Pokemon money from it as opposed to paying a dollar each time. And that's actually part of it because if you look at it, as you go up the scale, you're like, well, if I spend more money here, I get more in the end. Yeah, that's that's what it's doing. So even if you buy $10 worth of Poke coins, you won't have enough money to get the 25 incense. What they want you to do is to spend more. This is all calculated very carefully to make you spend more. So really, to me, uh, this is actually a dishonor to the Pokemon community, and it's a giant money grab, which is like, yeah, okay, that's smart for Nintendo to do that. But to its fans, it's kind of a slap in the face. Like, we've been loyal all these years, and they're like, hey, we're gonna try to suck all the money we can out of you. Ouch, guys. Ouch. So anyways, go out, have fun, play Pokemon Go. I'm, I'm gonna download it, I'm gonna try it for myself. I definitely wanna go run around my town, hope I don't get stabbed, raped, or murdered. But... The main essence of it is to get out there, have an adventure, have fun. And that's what Pokemon is, right? So just keep it as it is. It's not about the money. It's been Professor Bulba, signing out.